Hey viewers and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 and we left off, we had to escape uh, or assist the escape of all these uh, guards and soldiers or whatever you want to call them. And yes, we've got to get out of the Battle of Monmouth and then we've got to find Charles Lee or probably not, but this is the full sink, but I don't know what I'm going to rescue them. <clears throat> probably helpful if I had a horse actually. My god, look at them guards! Christ! There's a lot of guards there. Yeah, but I'm not going to deal with this. As a last full sink thing, I'll just stab one of them and then. Right, and then I'll get out of it. Epic, I've got three full sinks. Awesome. Oh my god, look at all these soldiers. Awesome. We're pretty well defended, aren't we? Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. I love that face. The time for that is long past. Connor's epic spawn. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. Before it will, it be, will the be the last I deliver you. Like a boss. Oh yeah. Sequence 10 done. Right, now we're getting ready to play as Desmond and play the best mission of all five games so far. I'm just putting out there. That is, it probably is to me, the best mission out of all five Assassin's Creed. Out of every mission there is that you can play, this is probably the best. Look at um, George Washington's face. He's like, hmm, 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 face. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, okay, actually. I'm having a strawberry sweet. I've got some sweets in the form of strawberry. I'm gonna have one. Something's right, happened, good. Desmond. What? Well, no. Abstergo has your dad. Oh, I would do. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. Oh, here we go. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. Epic nostalgic adventure. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. Hello, I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I'm sure you would too. So give him back. And I won't have to kill you. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That, that asshole is my, my dad. dad. Love that line. Let's do this. Let's go save that asshole. Do this. 
do this. It ruined the moment by not loading. We're in hidden blade on the wrong arm. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. No, nah, don't worry, Sean. I got, we got this. I'll kill you. <laughs> He's, why is he wearing the hidden blade on the wrong arm for? I don't understand why he does that. It's clearly on the wrong arm. I mean, all they had to do was look at Brotherhood to see what arm he wore his hidden blade on. And it's meant to be on his left arm, not his right arm. I mean, come on, you soft. It's probably for gameplay mechanic reasons, but still. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Mr. Miles. Then let me that. through. Subdue the subject. You have something we need, Mr. Miles. Locked away in that head of yours. I love how the hidden blade isn't um, folded over like uh, Connors is either. It's actually how Ezio's would have been, because it is Ezio's hidden blade, if you remember from AC2. Because he did take Ezio's hidden blade apart and then turn it into his own hidden blade. Right. Go to the lift. <laughs> like a boss. Desmond is so awesome. I love Desmond. Me and Lucy walked into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment, although I suppose he wanted Lucy to, Lucy to take me out. Ah, uh, right. Guess we're getting out of here the hard way. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Oh God, he's looking at me. <gasps> Hello. I still don't really understand how he changed his hoodie. When it's practically the same hoodie, it's just slightly redesigned. I don't understand how... Why they felt the need to change his hoodie. I mean, Brotherhood 1 looked fine. Need eyes on him. I, I don't understand why they had to change it. How did he not see me just then? Kick him out. There we go. And you, mate, take that into the wall. Oh. oh. That's okay. I do. Alright, we know exactly where what we've got to do here. Do it. Oi, mate. I think you know who you're, who you're talking to. This is Desmond Miles we're talking about. Why did he not just die? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> one, one, I look like such a noob. What the hell did I just do? Eye oh, in his face. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, oh god. Love it in Amstoga. This is the place where you can see the tree out the window in AC2. Oh, and then the room we were kept in is in there somewhere. How tall is this building? Christ, it's quite big, isn't it? God. I swear they were, weren't wearing yellow in AC2. They were wearing um, white. So why are they suddenly got yellow outfits? Is there an Abstergo to do with the whole thing in blue? Randomly they were white in AC2 and now it's gone to yellow. I don't know what's going on. Ah oh, yeah, let's jump through here. Know oh, exactly where we are. Ah oh, yeah! It's been a long time. Give me the apple. Great. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. Alright, Desmond. Game's over. Yeah, for you, Cross. Not now. Not now. 
Dinger ist just so Krobota. Spent a long time in the animus. Poor guy. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, just let's just. Hang on. Oh look. Oh, oh, it's still, it's all still here. Subject sixteen left his mark. It's so cool how they put this here. They remembered to leave it. It's so cool. The tiny little details like that. Awesome. What do you think you're doing? I love how they take so long to aim. Or else it'd like be really stupid, wouldn't it? Let's go. Oh god. That was a fail. Let's go. Right, we've left Abstergo. Oh, this is where we went with Lucy. And he was like, Abstergo's got some fucked up material decorators. Oh, it's so good. I love this game. I love this mission. Okay. That was necessary. This is what I expected the escape from AC2 to be like. <laughs> Only, obviously, Desmond didn't have any skill, so that would have made no sense. And I'd rather we wait till now for Desmond to show his real, like, skill. I'm sure there weren't these things in AC2, though. I don't remember there being these things here. But, I mean, that wasn't there either, but that's because that was built in Brotherhood for the um, Bleeding Effect program, where they were training up the Templars, wasn't it? So, it does make sense that it wasn't there in AC2. Got ya! Bastard. Right, let's do this. I mean, the only thing I don't like about that is the fact that Daniel you should have had a talk with him or something like that. Because it's just like he's dead and that's it. it. There's no big deal made over it, so... You know, I, th I think it would have been better if they didn't Right, got a gun. Now let's finish this. Let's do finish this. Let's do it. Vidic's office is up ahead. Vidic's office is up ahead. You... You killed him! I think quite know what they've got themselves into, do they? Desmond Miles. De Desmond Miles. Don't have to reload yet. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, don't talk about Lucy now. Thanks. There you are, Vidic. It's time. It's time for this to end here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Dad. It's not a long so time fast. waiting to do this. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. I don't know about that. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Oh, here we go, no. Vidic. All this time I've been waiting to do this. Die, you son of a bitch. Take that. Stupid. Get in there. Yes. Love that. He's dead. Finally, after all this time. He's dead. Hell yeah. You never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of here. Let's do this. So, look, why didn't he do this to act when he came in? go. Now that is what I've been waiting for since Assassin's Creed 1 for Vidic to be killed. 
Hot wood, Ms. Felicia. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Yeah, I'm gonna get it hooked up. So we'll do that, we'll go get the we'll go get the power core hooked up, and then we'll get back in the anim well we won't get back in the animus, I'll end next time I start a recording session thing. That's when I'll get back in the animus and we'll finish the game. So let's get the power core hooked up. So we'll go a bit this way. God's taking a while. Wait, are we even going the right way? We're not, are we? I just realised we're going the complete wrong way. Oh god, what the hell have I done? There we go. Right, we'll go this way, don't we? Over there. Look, some reason he now has a hidden blade you can get. I don't know why. Right, let's do this. Wheel. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Right. Let's go hook up this power core. Look, we've got to hear more stories of how they're trying to save the world. This is more the new world approached, one that was dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband. Oh no. My love. Take it didn't work. In the end, it changed him. Ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there wasn't one. Not for him. Not for us. Oh, God. Oh. Poor Juno. Right, we'll hear the next stories in the next part. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the annotation in the top at the end of the <laughs> thank you for sure to click the attention at the end of the video to watch the next part that's it for now see you guys in the next one peace out hey viewers and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 so when we left off we had heard we, we, we just killed Warren Fiddick the guy waiting to kill stupid Templar captured us and we finally get our own back on him and now we have got to find the no we've not got to find we've got to listen to Juno's stories and then put in the power core so let's do that. Do that. Um, how do we? We've got to climb this one here. No. Okay. I got to swing down it. Okay. There we go. Right. Power core. Be up here. You can do that thing where you swing back like that. That wasn't. That was bad. That one looked more realistic. Next story. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body, a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered. Were they right to turn away? I don't know, you're a bit messed up, Juno. What, what the hell? I can see inside. Weird. Right, let's go put in that power core then. Power core, power core. It's probably going to be a really short episode though. But don't worry about that, because... We 
fine. Maybe a short episode, but it'll be one that you'll enjoy. It's Juno. Now let's place the power core. That's the last power core. Now what we need is the key. Considering this will be like three minutes long, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go talk to Sean because Sean's always entertaining. So let's go talk to him. Sean, 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 Sean. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Oh. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Tasted of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though. I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You certainly got away with words, Rebecca. <laughs> Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction. I hear rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. We all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look, I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. The flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. And I don't blame them. It sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Best we finish up with Connor. Come on, Desmond. In you go. Okay. In the next part, we will finish Connor. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to click the annotation at the end of the video to watch the next part. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.